because it's the super mayor to me, and you're the people's mayor and people's supervisor. I am about to address some things as the supervisor. Uh, there will be no comments, there will be anything, it'll just be me addressing you guys to tell you what's going on. Tiffany Henyard, the self-proclaimed super mayor of Dalton, has always been a lightning rod for controversy. But now the rumor mill is spinning faster than ever. Did she really make a secret deal with the FBI? Are we on the verge of witnessing one of the biggest political downfalls in recent memory? You won't believe how deep this scandal goes. And it looks like it's just getting started. Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? Here's the juicy part. Word on the street is that Tiffany Henyard has realized she's trapped with no way out. The FBI is closing in, and instead of facing a drawn out public humiliation, she's reportedly working out a deal. That's right. The mayor who once declared herself untouchable is supposedly preparing to betray her own allies to save her skin. And it's not just rumors. The fact that she recently hired two high-profile defense lawyers who've worked with celebrities in the past. That's a major red flag. These aren't your everyday attorneys. They're the kind of lawyers you bring in when things are about to get really messy. And when you think about what Henyard's been caught up in, it makes perfect sense why she'd be looking for an escape hatch right about now. No reason for anyone from a township to go to a mayor's conference. A mayor's conference is a mayor's conference for mayors. According to some insiders, Henyard's plan is to expose everyone who has been involved in her alleged wrongdoings. She's not just pointing fingers at a few minor players, we're talking about some serious names here. Some of her closest allies, people who have stood by her side through thick and thin, are now in the crosshairs. It's being said that she's willing to reveal everything about them to cut herself a deal, walk away without a prison sentence in exchange for the full story on her associates. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the drama is off the charts. Fox 32 has investigated, investigated Henyard's use of a police security detail, taking officers off the street and costing thousands of dollars. Now let's break down how we got here. Tiffany Henyard didn't just wake up one morning and find herself in hot water. No, this has been building up for years. She was always a polarizing figure, but over the past few months, the stories coming out of Dalton have been almost unbelievable. From financial mismanagement to corruption to allegations of intimidation, it seems like every week there's a new headline. And it's not just her enemies making noise, even her allies are starting to turn on her. Take, for example, Carmen Carlisle, one of Henyard's former confidantes who has recently broken her silence. Carlisle had been quiet for years, but now she's speaking out, accusing Henyard of unethical and predatory behavior that has harmed the very community she was supposed to lead. Carlisle claims Henyard manipulated employees and vendors to build her empire, all while projecting a false image of success. And Carlisle isn't alone, several others are now echoing her sentiments. It's as if the floodgates have opened, and the truth is finally pouring out. I think you should pay everybody. Is there a reason why you guys are not paying uh, whatever that vendor is? What was it for? Um, it was for shirts. That's what it's for. You do that. But Henyard's not just facing backlash from within her own circle. Local officials, including Chris Gonzalez, have been vocal critics of her spending habits, questioning everything from lavish events to unapproved budgets. Who would make a one day, well, one day purchase of over $40,000 to Amazon? And the main thing is, what is it? One of the most notorious examples, the infamous taste of Thornton Township where Henyard shelled out over 80,000 pounds on a party that barely anyone showed up to. With Keek Wyatt and Jay Holiday performing for an audience that was embarrassingly small, the whole affair turned into a spectacle of waste. And don't even get started on the luxury cars, high-end dinners, and out-of-town trips Henyard reportedly funded with taxpayer money. I do not handle anything as it relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you though. No, sir. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot was even brought in to investigate these extravagant expenses. And her findings revealed that Dalton had plunged into a three and a half million pound deficit. A town that was already struggling is now essentially bankrupt thanks to its mayor's reckless spending. But it wasn't just about the money Henyard was spending. The power she wielded in Dalton was unlike anything the town had seen before. She appointed key officials without consulting the board, bypassed local laws, and effectively ran the town like her personal empire. But the administration can adhere to some financial limits. We're not looking to necessarily... This unchecked power gave her the ability to control almost every fate of village life, including holding up business licenses for those who refused to comply with her demands. Local entrepreneurs complained that they were forced to play by her rules or face the possibility of losing their livelihoods. It's no surprise that many began to compare her reign to that of a dictator. Even more shocking were the accusations of using law enforcement for personal gain. Henyard reportedly weaponized the police department, directing officers to harass her critics while ensuring her political enemies faced random inspections and fines. Her deputy police chief, Louis Lacey, who has now been indicted, was allegedly one of her key enforcers. Deep debt, and that is the finding of an investigation of village finances and the spending habits of beleaguered Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Witnesses claim Lacey followed Henyard's orders without question, further entrenching her control over the town. Some local residents have even speculated that the financial crimes are just the tip of the iceberg, with much more sinister abuses of power lurking beneath the surface. The deeper the investigation goes, the more it seems 
James Hinyard's hold on Dalton was not just financial, but also deeply personal and coercive. And what about her so-called security detail? Hinyard had a full-fledged entourage, costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of pounds in overtime. We needed those officers to be on the street uh, fighting crime. And instead, we have several officers that are uh, riding around Protecting them. Former Dalton Police Chief Robert Collins, who spoke out after being fired, revealed just how stretched the police department was because officers were being used to shuffle here and around and around instead of protecting the crowns. His frustration was clear. The department was understaffed and overworked, all while the mayor's personal needs took priority. It was a situation that left Dalton vulnerable to crime, with fewer officers available to patrol the streets. And while this was happening, Henyard reportedly flew first class to various locations, racking up bills on luxury hotels and restaurants, and all while claiming she was attending conferences for the town's benefit. Coming in, I mean, unfortunately, we knew it was going to be a little messy, um, but it's just something we felt important that had to be done, that should be done. So, but like I said, yeah, just some accountability. But the most scandalous of all, Henyard's involvement in covering up a serious incident. The town's former assistant accused a trustee of assaulting her during a taxpayer-funded trip to Las Vegas. The assistant claimed she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there, and when she reported the incident to Henyard, she was told that the mayor would take care of it. But instead of receiving support, the assistant was placed on unpaid medical leave. Henyard's handling of this situation is just another piece in the puzzle of her downfall. Instead of protecting her employees, she allegedly worked to silence them and protect her own interests. The legal appointment, that's what the trustees I talked to are calling this, they say the news took them by surprise, and now they're talking to legal counsel to figure out their next steps. So what happens next? With the FBI reportedly closing in and Henyard's former allies turning against her, it seems like her days as the super mayor of Dalton are numbered. The rumor about her making a deal with the FBI could be a last-ditch effort to avoid the worst possible outcome, prison. If she's truly offering to expose the entire web of corruption that has plagued Dalton, we could be on the verge of an even bigger scandal. It's not just Henyard who stands to lose everything. The people who worked with her, supported her, and perhaps even benefited from her actions could find themselves in serious trouble as well. Imagine the fallout if her inner circle starts crumbling, and they, too, begin pointing fingers in an attempt to save themselves. So that's one of the reasons I vote no when we go through our board packets. It's like, you know, some of this stuff, it's like you don't know exactly what it's for, and then when you ask the question, there's no answer. Looking back at Henyard's rise to power, it's almost surreal how far she's fallen. When she first became mayor in 2021, she was celebrated as the youngest woman to hold the position in Dalton. There was so much promise, so much potential, but power can corrupt, and in Henyard's case, it seems like it did just that. What started as a seemingly bright future for the town has turned into a nightmare. Dalton is now facing massive debt, its public services are in disarray, and its reputation is in tatters. And at the center of it all is Tiffany Henyard, who once stood on top of the world, but now looks ready to watch it all crumble. But are the rumors true? Is she really making a deal with the FBI? Well, that's the question everyone is asking right now. If she is, it could mean she's about to throw her closest allies under the bus to protect herself. Some say it's the only way she can avoid a lengthy prison sentence. Others believe that she's too far gone, that the FBI won't let her off the hook, no matter what she offers. Either way, the drama is far from over. This story is developing faster than anyone expected, and the more we learn, the more explosive it becomes. What's also fascinating is the ripple effect this could have on local politics. Henyard's downfall might send shockwaves through the entire political system in Illinois. Her case is one of the most publicized in recent years, and it's likely going to set a precedent for how other local officials are scrutinized moving forward. It's no longer just about Henyard, it's about all the people connected to her, all the deals that were made behind closed doors, and all the skeletons that are about to come tumbling out of the closet. I was saying, no, he's not a employed by us. So you have got just this gyration. So what does this mean for the residents of Dalton? Well, they're left picking up the pieces. The town has been bled dry financially and morally. Local businesses are struggling, public services are underfunded, and the census of community has been shattered by scandal after scandal. People trusted Henyard to bring change, to lead them into a better future. Instead, they got a mayor who allegedly used her power for personal gain and left the town worse off than it was before she took office. As we await the next chapter in this ongoing drama, there are so many unanswered questions. Will Tiffany Henyard really make a deal with the FBI? Will her allies turn against her as she throws them under the bus? And how will Dalton ever recover from this mess? It's a story that feels like it's straight out of a political thriller, but it's all too real for the people living through it. For now, we'll have to wait and see what happens next. But one thing is for sure, Tiffany Henyard's time in the spotlight is far from over. What do you think? Is Henyard really going to get away with this? Or is her downfall just beginning? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates on this explosive story.